Hello, Bill Hayes again. Well, guys, I got a little surprise in the mail today. This is a genuine blue skein tree fork, and uh, it has a little note on here from Gary Miller. He, he's the one who sent it to me. This is an appreciation for a little uh, slingshot I sent him, a, a, a vintage one. And this is a uh, lichen encrusted mountain laurel. So this should be a pretty interesting little slingshot. Uh, I don't think we have any mountain laurel around here. This is basically oak country. And uh, very interesting. Hopefully while I'm shooting this, the uh, lichen doesn't come off. Let me, uh, I'm going to keep this bag. I'll, I'll use this to store it in. And uh, this lichen on here. It's not delicate. I guess it isn't going to come off that easily. Uh, it has a little protuberance right here for your heel or your palm, I see. And uh, the uh, size of this is just about perfect for a uh, you know, good pocket ability. Uh, this has uh, some of Gary's uh, own flat bands on here and uh, one of his double cup pouches. It's tied on with, uh, looks like butcher string. And I see that uh, Blue Scheme put a, a nice little notch all the way around it here. Be interesting to see how he did all that. Uh, the tips are pretty flat. That means you're not going to get a whole lot of hand slap, even though it's an over the top. And I see also that Gary did his exactly upside down on what I do. <laughs> he put his, his so the trough kind of aims down. I uh, bend my over the tops with the trough aiming up like this. Uh, let's see, what else about this? Oh, look at that. This has a nice little curvature to it, so it fits in the hand like that, and it should be a natural pointer. All right, all that said, let's uh, check it out and see how it shoots, because that's what it's made for. All right, this is a card. I'm uh, torn between thinking about doing a uh, Scottish card cut, which is where you hit it many times, or if we just go and zap that thing. But because Gary did this uh, upside down from what I normally do, it's going to take me a few shots to get used to it, I imagine. So what I'll do is we'll just see if we can cut that card eventually. I'm sure it'll take me two, three, maybe even four shots to get to where I can actually hit it. All right, let's check it out. Okay, well that's good enough for this one. I'm going to put this up in the collection, I think. Maybe shoot it some. Uh, when we have slingshot contests where there's a, where there's a need for uh, what they call the, uh, uh, what they call that, the Dennis Menace shoot, where you're going to shoot a, a slingshot that needs uh, uh, to be a natural and maybe shoot rocks or something. I might use this one. Let me see what, what's all with that. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, yeah, I, I was able to hit the card. I don't know, is that the fifth shot or something like that? Tickled it on the fourth shot, but then after it all cattywampus there, it's kind of hard to hit it. Anyway, I'm going to do that for right now. I might practice with this a little bit more, maybe see if we can light some matches with it or something. Um, it's going to rain here in just a little bit. I hear thunder in the background, and of course I'm sweating because it's too humid. So I'm going so to get some work done and uh, play with this a little bit later. All right, thanks for watching.